Hey guys, it's your humble host. So I'm back with another video. No, this is not an update with Adadio 5. We're still working on it. I have nothing new to report at this time. No, this is just another video I wanted to share with some thoughts. It kind of has to do with the Daddy 5 situation, and then for the most part, it doesn't. What I want to talk about in this video is approval. Now, anybody who has been with my channel for, I want to say, maybe a year or two, maybe even three, you'll find or you have noticed that I have jumped into certain situations that I felt were important that I actually made a difference in those situations because I jumped in and did what no one else was able to do or could do or was willing to do. Now with that being said I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging about anything. I want to make a point because for any one of you who stick your neck out for other people, for any one of you that actually does what I do, jumps into other situations, helps out with those situations, helps them get dealt with and squashed and resolved, you'll notice a couple of things. Number one, you will notice that you do not have very many people to talk to about it. Let me give you an example. I have friends who watch my channel, or at least they did watch my channel. And many conversations I've had with these friends were about happenings on my channel or happenings on the platforms that I used. Well, I have noticed, and I'm sure anyone who is in my position or in a similar position to it has noticed that these conversations tend to dwindle, that these conversations end up resulting in what you're involved in always being labeled as petty or nothing but online drama. The second thing you'll notice is that the people that you used to talk to, not online, but your personal friends and family, they don't talk to you as much. You know, over the past couple of months, shall we say six, when the thing with Omni politics broke out, the Faith Kids crap, the Onision crap, the Daddy 5 situation that I'm currently helping work on right now. My channel has become a beacon for these issues, these situations, and has become an alarm system of sorts. And what I have noticed because of this is less and less people who are personally close to me are involved in this page. I have had family members dislike this page. The people who I know used to follow it no longer follow the page. I can no longer have a conversation with someone close to me about what is going on on these platforms that I'm involved in and not have it called petty or drama. Even now, the conversation I had tonight with someone close to me it was just really upsetting and I know they don't dwell online and it could have been a bad day where I caught them off but I just can't have these conversations they don't let me have these conversations I understand this stuff is stressful but I have very few people personal wise that I can talk to people about what I am involved in and so that leads me to the point of this video with these conversations for any one of you who stick your neck out whether it be online real life and you know you can make a difference you know you can do something about it and you do so and then you find that in a way you're kind of avoided by anyone that is personally close to you because what you're involved in is all you can talk about because it's emotionally 
grating on you. You're emotionally involved and you don't really have anyone else to vent to except for the people online, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. I've made acquaintances with quite a few wonderful people online due to this Daddy of Five situation and a few other situations. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. My problem is, is when it comes to the personal relationships, comes to the personal friends and family is they seem to avoid you and I remember getting mad at a friend I want to say maybe a week back because I was trying to talk to them about this daddy 5 situation when it first started up when Rose first started to reach out and came to my channel and me and her first started to talk I tried to vent to this friend what was going on and how I was emotionally affected by it and how messed up it was that this mother had to watch her kids get abused online and for money and I got shut down only to be told that it was petty drama. This was a text message back and forth on Facebook so it was not face to face. But I can tell you right then and there, my blood began to fucking boil. And I was very clear with what I texted back, which caused him to apologize. After I bluntly put, it's like, it's not petty. Child abuse is not fucking petty. And the conversation lasted for five more minutes after that, and I really haven't talked to him since. Something I have noticed is when you stick out your neck for people like this online on real life, it's almost like you lose the approval of those that were personally close to you. My personal friends and me used to talk all the time, but the more I got involved with online, the more I started to how shall we say, step away from God, because I've talked about on my channel how I'm a struggling Christian, there's still stuff that I question, there's still stuff I'm looking into, I don't want to go to church right now, and I keep getting asked about it. I don't want anything to do with church. And there's a video, after this is all said and done with Daddy of Five, that I actually want to do. There's a couple videos. One I need to do research for. The other one was brought up by Mark Dice, how the reason why churches are tax-free is because churches, they're either contract, or excuse me, under contract, or something of that nature, to where they can't organize political events or they can't do certain things so therefore they're allowed to be tax-free and that the government controls what the pastor says something of that nature and I've always felt I know this is a side tangent that this is part of the approval thing that I'm talking about I've always felt that church was way too controlling way too whitewashed way too narrow-minded, way too, if it's not within these four walls, I don't give a fuck. And that's how I feel now. You know, when I did try to go back to church, and I had a conversation with the pastor because he, I forgot how he had put it, but it pretty much boiled down to you really shouldn't study other religions, you shouldn't study this or study that. And I wanted to interrupt this guy mid-sermon, but I bit my tongue because I wanted to be respectful. And I went up afterwards and I talked to him about it, and it's just like, we need to learn about these so we know how to combat them. And he still told me no, and in a way, I felt like I got disapproval because... I was doing something out of the norm. I, anybody who knows me personally knows I'm not a normal person. I don't fall into the genre of normal and I'm not not trying to be a special snowflake, none of that shit, but my friends and family, I stick out no matter who the fuck you stick me with. I'm a sore thumb everywhere I go. What I do is not considered normal by the people I know personally.
Even some of the things is not normal to my husband. I mean, with his Daddy 05 situation, he is proud of me. I've been running some things by him. Some, he doesn't want to hear all of it because it will legitimately piss him off and stress him out. So, but I have been keeping him up to date with the situation as far as he wants to hear it. But, you know, he's still proud of me for doing it. He thinks I evolved myself a bit too much, but he's still proud of me and can see why I do it. So far, he's the only one personally close to me that can see this. Everyone else, just, I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, for years, for years, there were certain people's approval that I wanted, that I felt was important. And I was talking to my husband tonight about it, and he goes, no, you, you don't need their approval. I don't need anyone's fucking approval to be me. Of course I want my husband to be happy with me. Of course I want people to be happy with me. But I don't need anyone's fucking approval to be me. And if me steps into situations knowing full damn well that I can make a difference and fucking help solve the issue, then by all means I'm gonna fucking do so as I have done so quite a few times before. You know, this isn't my first rodeo. I've never dealt with a custody issue, no, but I have dealt with a couple situations online. First situation that I ever stumbled across was getting a low functioning autistic person off the web and that was because they were being targeted for harassment and being wrongly accused of cyber stalking women online which was total horseshit. The other situation I was a part of was when I used to be a part of DeviantArt. And before I purged my account, I helped get a legitimate registered pedophile off the site. Word of him got out, somebody showed proof of who he was, figured out where the hell he was registered, called the police, still have the name and number of the detective that I talked to, and with a combo of concert reports to the FBI and the police and all that sort of thing, we got him offline. And it was a group effort, and my page became an alarm, a beak is like, hey, beware, this is going on. For you DeviantArt users, this is going on. Other situation, even though it didn't get solved because the police in this area are just fucking stupid, but they're in a liberal state, so go figure, is the Onision shit. When news broke out on his farm that he had miners in their underwear, somebody sent me all of his personal info, which I still have, by the way, and I called the cops. I called the FBI. I called the National Center for Exploited and Missing Children. Nothing was done because, once again, that state is fucking stupid and liberal, but hey, I tried. I know others got involved, but we at least exposed what he was doing. And he's now going down the shitter. So, and the Omnipolitics situation that broke out. The pedo shit that's been going on YouTube. I heard about it, I got involved, me and quite a few others stepped up saying, hey, you know what, this is bullshit. Us victims who were prone to molestation and sexual abuse. This is total and utter crap. What you're advocating for is garbage and you belong in a box dead if you do not want help or change. So I helped get Omnipolitics off the web. I was not the main one who did it, mind you, but I was trying to help dig for information. I tried to reach out to Omnipolitics friends, try to get information and their stance on what was going on and that got solved. Got solved. Um, and now this, the Daddy 05 situation. I'm helping with this. I'm at the heart of this with one to two other people alongside of Rose. And so I've stepped in because she reached out to me and I knew I could make a difference. And 
So it, it, it's who I am. I don't try to solve every situation. I don't go digging for every single problem because I have somewhat of a life. I want to do other things. It's not my burden to bear other people's problems. But there are certain ones that perk up my ears and it's like, hey, you know what? I need to do something. I need to help. Um, and that's just who I am. That's who I've always been, whether that's because I was helpless at one point in my life due to uh, bullying and my own abuse, but you know what? I don't need people's approvals. I don't need my family's approvals. I don't need my friends' <sighs> approval for what I do, what I get involved with. And I will say that I had one friend who said the old me was coming back when I told him what I was involved with. He said the old me was coming back. So that was that was a nice compliment, but for the most part, I have noticed that I'm just kind of avoided from a personal stance. And even the conversation tonight, it, I'm not gonna say it was. It was another personal somebody, and it's just like I don't, I, I don't fucking get it. But as my husband says, I don't need, <laughs> I don't need the approval. I I need to stop. I need to stop trying to seek that because everyone's standards is different. Not everyone's going to understand what I do. And you know what? That's okay. And you know what? They don't have to. And I know somewhat with what I'm doing. And if I need to reach out to wiser people, I do so. I do so. And I have done so. And here we are. So... Sorry, this was just a thought video I needed to get out. I know it was kind of all over the place, but this is something that's been happening over the past few months is the people I used to talk to personally all the time, my personal friends and family, I've just kind of like faded off. And I know people get busy with life, people get busy with things, but it's it's not the case because I've talked, or rather I've spoken with said friends, and we've had this conversation about my channel and how everything is deemed as drama, and it's fucking ridiculous. Child abuse is not drama, it's not petty, pedophiles, what's being done on YouTube is not drama, it's not petty. The other thing wasn't drama and petty either, it just, I fucking hate that argument, because it's online. It is fucking petty, that just shows how fucking retarded you are. Anyway, I'm done. I know a lot of you were expecting an update video. Like I said, we're still working on it. I have nothing to report at this time. This was just a thought video. Have a good night, guys.